Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. And uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about key differences between MAP versus SMAPE. Basically, both of these are uh, example of uh, regression matrix commonly used in uh, uh, evaluating the model's performance. Uh, right. So MAP basically stands for mean absolute percentage error. And SMAP is for a symmetric mean absolute percentage error. So we are also going to discuss here uh, one important numerical problem. And with the help of that, we are going to interpret that how to compare the result of both metrics. So uh, we are starting from the basic definition and basic points. So MAP measures accuracy of forecasting method by calculating average absolute percentage difference between forecasted value and actual value. Okay. Whereas symmetric mean absolute percentage error, it is variation of map. Basically, it addresses some of its drawbacks, particularly by using symmetric percentage error calculation. So basically here term we that we need to clear is what is symmetric percentage error calculation, right? So we are going to explore it. SMAP is typically used when dealing with data that has large variations or significant outliers. So basically, let's say if you are performing any regression technique and if some data points are very far away from the mean line, that is extreme values or outliers. Right. So if our data is having that much large variation that then we can utilize SMAPE, right? Because there might be some of the disadvantages while calculating such data with the help of MAP, right? MAP have some limitations and uh, what are that limitations that we can clear here? The limitations under MAP are basically that when particularly we are going to deal with data points where actual values are close to zero right so here map is going to have some limitations as it can lead to infinity or underfined undefined und undefined values due to division by zero values so right so if uh, the points are very much closer to the actual value then difference might be zero and due to that uh, the result could be infinite uh, infinite or undefined right so on the other hand, on the counterpart, if we discuss SMAP, it is going to compute average percentage error by taking into account the average of absolute values of the forecasted and actual values in the denominator, right? So absolute values of forecasted and actual value in the denominator, which takes, which makes it more robust again, extreme values including zero values in the data as well. So here are the formula for mean absolute percentage error. Uh, we can calculate it like this. Uh, we can calculate it like this, that uh, it is going to 100 because we are going to calculate in the terminology of percentage. So 100 divided by N, thereafter sum of all the data set from 1 to N. And we are going to make difference of actual value at time T with forecasted value at time t and divide it with actual value at time t right and multiply with 100 divided by n it is going to calculate mean absolute percentage error on the other hand the smap that is symmetric mean absolute percentage error again for percentage and for mean value from t equal to 1 to n the difference of forecasted value with actual value at time t but here what we are doing we are dividing it with actual value at time t plus forecasted value at time t ka whole square right and we are going to divide it with 2 right so actual value plus forecasted value divide by 2 and this is going to give us the value of symmetric mean absolute percentage error now calculation method if we talk about the key differences then one difference we can talk around calculation method and uh, in calculation method map uses 
absolute percentage difference absolute percentage difference between forecasted value and actual value between forecasted value and actual value right likewise this directly while symmetric map uses a symmetric percentage error calculation symmetric error percentage error means what actual value forecasted value and divide it with divide it with actual value plus forecasted value divide by 2 right that is symmetric percentage error calculation if we are going to multiply with 100 and divide by n it is going to be in the terms of mean right so it is going to normalize based on sum of forecasted and actual values so this is the one key difference based on calculation method other key difference is on the basis of handling of zero values so symmetric mean absolute percentage error handles cases where the actual or forecasted values are zero more effectively avoiding undefined or infinite values that can occur with map one more key difference on the basis of interpretation symmetric map is considered to be more robust in situations where scale of data varies widely or where zero values are present it's often preferred when dealing with time series data that can exhibit varying magnitude and trends right so we can understand all these key differences with the help of the following numerical problem suppose we have a time series data set consisting of actual values at and forecasted value ft for a given period let's say this is the values now we need to calculate the mean absolute percentage error and symmetric mean absolute percentage error right so you know that this is the formula already we have discussed a, a, a detailed lecture on this matrix so you can watch that also so percentage error one that is the difference between 100 minus 120 with actual value that is 100 that is going to be 20 by 100 into 100 so it is 20 percent that is actual value predicted value or forecasted value difference of these two multiply with 100 similarly for 200 180 it is also going to give us 20 percent 300 320 it is also going to give us 20 percent 400 380 it is also going to give us 20 percent and uh, okay so basically uh, the thing is that in, in inside numerator we need to type right because the everywhere it is not 100 we need to divide it with actual value here it is 200 300 400 500 so similarly we are going to get percentage error like this the formula is same actual value minus forecasted value divide with actual value at time t actual value at time t right after that we are going to add them and going to divide it with total number of values that is uh, uh, average value so you can see here that we are getting uh, the result like this that is 91.34 percent that is map right here you can see like that now on the other hand if i am going to calculate symmetric map symmetric map then here the thing is same that for the first data set the difference will be like 120 minus 100 but here i need to divide it with the sum of 100 plus 120 divided by 2 so it is going to give me 220 divided by 2 that is 110 so 20 divided by 110 that is nearby 18.18 percent .18%, right so this is going to perform the symmetricity for this this is going to perform symmetricity whereas in uh, map here we are dividing with the actual value but here just to normalize the data set we are doing this so similarly if i am going to calculate the percentage error for uh, uh, data value 1 2 3 4 5 these will be our values using the same formula and uh, we are going to get the 
फाइनल रिजल्ट ऑफ सिमेट्रिक मैप एज एट्टी एट पॉइंट फोर्टी टू परसेंट राइट अगेन वी नीड टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस थिंग अगेन एंड अगेन वी ओनली नीड टू रिपीट दिस फॉर्मूला फॉर ईच डेटा सेट राइट नाउ वॉट कंक्लूजन और वॉट इंटरप्रिटेशन वी कैन मेक फ्रॉम हियर दैट मीन अब्सोल्यूट परसेंटेज एरर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल इज नाइंटी वन पॉइंट थर्टी फोर परसेंट which indicates that average absolute percentage difference between actual and forecasted value the average absolute percentage difference between actual value and forecasted value whereas in this example the symmetric map answer is 88.42% which slight which is slightly lower than this which is slightly lower than map value so it reflects that symmetric nature of the percentage error calculation this is a symmetric nature of percentage error calculation which takes into account the magnitude of both actual value and forecasted value right because here we are taking the consideration of actual value as well as forecasted value now smap tends to give lower error rate than map because in scenarios where the scale values varies very widely or where there are outliers or zero values in that case the lower error will be there because we are also considering the actual value as well as forecasted value right because we are making the answer symmet in the symmetricity of both forecasted value as well as actual value but it was not so in the map in map we are only considering the error on the basis of actual uh, actual value at time t we are not considering forecasted value factor at that point right in the denominator right so this difference illustrate that advantage of smape in providing a more balanced assessment of forecasted accuracy so i hope that uh, uh to deal with outliers extreme values zero values and to deal with the symmetricity and to handle the zero values uh, smap is going to work uh, effectively rather than map right so it is kind of uh, solving the drawback of map right so this lecture is going to helpful for you stay tuned with us for more such important video lectures and definitely guys please subscribe it is definitely going to helpful for you and for your upcoming uh, journey of uh, gathering the knowledge have a nice day guys jai hind jai bharat